This video tutor explains shallow copy and deep copy. In shallow copy, the content and the location are the same. In deep copy, the content is the same but the location will be different. Let me explain it using an example. You consider a list L with the three elements 10, 20, 30. If I write x is equal to L, you know that x is pointing to the same list L. So as far as x is concerned, the content and the location, they are the same. Now, let me print the content. So if I print L and if I print X, you can see the content is the same. Now the location is also same. Let me print the location of L and X. So how do you get the location or address or identity of a variable? There is a function by the name ID. So here, let me print the location of L. So you can use the function id within bracket you can write l. Similarly let me print the location of x. So here you can write x and here also you can write x. So you can see the content is the same, the location is also the same. So assignment operator creates a shallow copy. Picturally you can represent like this, l points to this memory location and x is pointing to the same location. So you can see as far as x and l are concerned, the content and the location are the same. So if I make a change in x that is reflected in l because content and location both are the same. So this is shallow copy. Now let me copy paste this one. Let me create a deep copy. So here if I write y is equal to list within bracket l we know that l is a list list within bracket l will create a deep copy of l that is this content will be copied to another member location and y is pointing to that location so if i print l and the y the content is the same but if i print the location of y and l the locations are different you can see so here the content is the same but the locations are different so picturally i can represent like this this is the memory location l the content is copied to another memory location and y is pointing to that memory location so if i make a change in y it is not reflected in l so let me sum up in shallow copy the content and the location are the same. So if I make a change in one variable, it is reflected in the other one. In deep copy, the content is copied to another location and a variable is pointing to that new location. So if I make a change in one variable, it is not reflected in the other one. Now, to check whether the two locations are the same or not. There is an operator by the name is. Is is known as identity operator. Is and is not. So, here the locations of X and L, they are the same. But the location of Y and L, they are different. So, how do you compare location of two variables? You can do like this. If X is L. So what does is operator do? It checks whether the location of X and location of L, whether they are the same or not. If they are same, true is returned as answer, otherwise false. So here you can write otherwise you can write they are different. So you can copy this one and you can make the change. Different. Now if I compare Y with L, you can see the locations are different. 
so here if i use y location of y and l are the same y and l are different so here you get location of x and l are the same and here you get location of y and l are different you can see see location of x and l are the same because it is shallow copy location of y and l are different because it is deep copy so the membership operator the identity operator is conveys the location of two variables so which are the identity operators is and is not 